Let's get this underway. <laughs> G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here. Sorry about that. We had to do a bit of a frantic restart. First things first, we're going to be doing some building. It is soldering Saturday, but I need to know a few things. How's the stream going? Welcome back, everybody. We are uh, pretty much need to do mic checks, all that sort of stuff. I was ready to stream, and then I'm clicking that start stream button, and my computer is just still nothing. It's like, no, nah, I'm not even going to give you a it's not working or response window or anything like that. It just was like, nah, we're just going to just leave you hanging. So we had to do an emergency kind of restart. So <laughs> we kind of got back in here. Hopefully, uh, I'm feeling a little bit flustered, but we'll get with it. This is going to be a bit of a different stream. Keep your questions coming in. I've tried to set up a few different things. You can see I'm doing some work in the studio, the LEDs. I don't know how to change the color of those. Like, I'm the buttons seem to just be completely random. So I just was like, man, I can just have one stable color happening up there. Of course, that's not going to be uh, not going to be happening. I'll fix that up later. That is a minor nuisance. Today, it's all about having some fun, building some things together, and doing a bit of soldering and a bit of a different stream. We're still going to be answering your questions, but check this out because I've changed some. We've got Doggo Cam as well. Charlie's hanging out with me. He is asleep on his bed. But when I go to here, let's have a look. Uh, fantastic. So we can see we're going to do a little bit of building as well. So I probably need to reverse that camera, but that will be something else we're going to do. Uh, what do we got? We've got build cam so you guys can still see me as I'm talking. We're going to be going through doing some building and just having some fun, basically. So we're going to be jumping over, answering your questions. Today, I want to find out what we want to build. So I've got two options here. I was putting a whole bunch of stuff together and I thought, well, I probably have some complete kits that we can use for building. And uh, there's some stuff that I haven't reviewed. I was like, well, I might as well just build that now on stream. It doesn't matter exactly what we're building, as long as you guys can still see the process and everything we go through as we're doing that. So uh, I've just got these two little kits that uh, let me know which one of these we want to build. So we, are, we either have the Tyro 89, which I'm going to guess is a little bit better. That is still sealed in the plastic, or the Tyro 69, which is going to be a little bit smaller. Um... So I'm just looking at some of the chats here too. 720p at 60 FPS. Uh, I'm not too sure what we're talking about there. Is that the stream resolution that's coming through? All that sort of stuff. But I need to know uh, which one of these two I was going to do. Like I had all these plans, a straw poll. Uh, and we'll give this away. We'll throw this in on the prize pool too at the end of the stream. So do you want the 89 or the 69? So pretty much put your uh, two little... Okay, it seems like the 89 is by far the more popular one. Everyone's spamming 89 in the chat, so thank you very much to all those people. Like, two people said 69, which is kind of cool because I haven't even opened this. I don't even know what's inside here. I know zip about this drone, so we're going to Google it in a minute. We'll have a quick look at what it looks like. I have no idea, and uh, yeah, you can see we've, we've uh, you will all do some learning together and find out what's inside. Also, too, I have tried... Um, to set Nightbot up in here. That's what I was doing just before I jumped in. I probably should have started setting that up before 9.30. So uh, it's going to, like I can see, it deleted one of Nick's messages and said, don't spam FPV Nick there. Don't worry. Nightbot just seems to be a bit of a jerk. But anyway, it's going to help me post some things like links to the Discord, uh, links to our website, links to Patreon. It should do that periodically. So yeah, that's uh, what should be happening. And that's, that's the reason it's there. It might need a little bit of fine tuning, but it'll just make my job easier and the mod's job easier as well. Okay, so everybody's uh, everybody's saying that they really want to see the 89. So let's have a bit of a Google together. We'll find out what it's supposed to look like. And hopefully it's not like Homer Simpson when he goes to build a dog house and he looks, the, or is it like a bird house and he's built some crazy wreck, or maybe it's a barn. I don't know, some Simpsons reference. I'm sure Raven187 uh, can let me know where that uh, Simpsons picture is. But let's have a look here. The Tyro 89. This is what it's supposed to look like, guys. Uh, from the UK, Banggood. I don't think so. And thanks for everybody, too, for tuning in. And if you still want to ask some questions, make sure you tag me with that, UAV Futures. And I'll try and answer them. Hopefully, I catch them with the stream that's there. I have a big window of the chat. Let's have a look. We're going to have to have a look at the Banggood at the UK. UK. So, I don't know. And, of course, it's not even coming up. So, let's have a search here. Let's just go to bangers first. And we'll get this on this cam here as well. So here we go. Tyro 89. I wonder if it's meant to be one word. We could we could try that. 
Tyro 99. Look, this, what an amazing search engine. Let's try it as one word. If not, we're just going to uh, have some fun. Here we go. Oh, this actually kind of does look pretty cool. All right. So it's a little toothpicky thing. Uh, this might be really easy. I was hoping for some soldering, but a lot of this looks plug and play. So I've got my soldering iron fired up. You can see here. Where are we? If uh, we go to build cam, which I have here. Nope. Uh, build cam. Yeah, there we go. This one. Uh, I've got my soldering iron somewhere. I've got my little TS100 that we're using. All this sort of stuff. So anyway, we're going to answer some questions for a couple of minutes while I get prepped, while I get ready. And then we'll have a look at building that together. So if not, if that really is plug and play, I'm going to be a bit disappointed for our first solder uh Solder thing, and don't worry about Nightbot there, uh, Pedro. Um, Nightbot's just being a jerk. It says stop spamming caps, but I don't know how to. I'll have to go in and change and tone it down just a little bit. All right, hobby grade. I have the 89 and it had death rolls. How can I stop them? You know what? I don't know. We're going to find that out today. We're at least going to put it together, and then I can go out and fly it around. I would say maybe what voltage battery you're running it on. Is it meant for only 3s? And it says look like. And Raven's saying you should uh, maybe stop uh, using caps as well. So I want to say, too, if you're new to the stream, thanks so much for tuning in. We've got 74 viewers in here today, and we're just going to be going through, doing a bit of a build. If there's not too much soldering, we are building the Tyro 89. That's what the chat voted for, and uh, just having having some fun. And we've got a cool stream tomorrow as well, so stay tuned for that. All right, so we're using two. It's meant to be made for 2 and 3S batteries. This is what we're building on the screen. Jump over here for screen cap. And uh, I think if I click on which one, I need to get this ready. So it's is a build cam. There we go. Build cam is where you can see my face in here as well. Now, I'm going to have to adjust the camera. We're going to kick it off and get started. Now, Nathan P wants to know, what is the best and fastest micro you've ever reviewed? That would be the Avant something. It's a very recent one. And uh, if you Google Avant micro, A-V-A-N-T, I'll even type it in here. Just Google this. I can't remember its exact name, though, but I'm sure you can Google that. All right, let's see if we can kind of get ready uh, to do this build. Is there a giveaway? Yes, there will be a giveaway. The link also should be in the description. There will be a giveaway form. Enter that, and uh, you go in the running. No one claimed yesterday's prize, so we're just rolling it over. And tomorrow's pri today's prize is uh, a s like a... Fly sky, uh, not a fly sky, like a cine can recorder, and whatever we end up building today. But this the only difference is though with this one, I still have to go. I want to review it first, so you're going to get it after I review that. If you happen to claim the prize as well, Epilogue is already in it. Uh, Travis Stevens, no, that kid didn't claim the prize. I looked at my email, there was nothing there, so he didn't even write. It wasn't even like he's seen the stream or anything so he didn't even write and say oh i'm late can i still get it he didn't even uh send an email poor kid so anyway um yt fpv i think we need a new link so what do you mean now there should still be a form up there if you've already entered uh it should be good it says uh my response is already there great so if your response is already in there you don't need to enter again cool yep and it is uh sunday for some people in the world as well Yep, uh, it's getting confusing with my mind as well where we're up to in the days of the week. Thinking for half the world, international, most people watching this are in the, like, they're still on the other side. They're still in Saturday. So that's why today's stream is called Saturday. Where's the form? Uh, is there no form in the description? Patreon, Discord, got a question. Giveaway form. I can see it in the description. Do Google Docs. Have a look at that. But I can also, I wonder if I can just straight post this if I copy link. And post it here. Will this work, or is YouTube going to put? No, they put their garbage in front of it. See if this works. But uh, it's too big to post there. So, all right. So it says my response is already there. So that's good, man. If uh, that means you don't have to enter again, you st you stay in the running. You don't have to enter every single time you join. I'm going. That's uh, when we're announcing it. We're going to announce it sometime through the stream, Evan. So that's what you got to watch. All right. And there's a Discord link. Thank you, Nightbot. Seems like it's doing there. So let me move this over here and this is what i spent a lot of yesterday doing painting this wall getting this camera set up uh i know we have like a little donation thing as well if you look here this is what i was work thanks to fpv nick because we are kind of underway underway i know that the donations uh i've got a 
some sort of not spelling error but i've got to put a few spaces or something in there that's bugging me up the wall a little bit but thank you uh, to those people who have donated and i kind of went preempt and bought some of the stuff already uh, to get this stuff ready but let's have a look it is build cam okay so let's open this bad boy up together uh send a link to the form all right uh malice vex has done it okay all right uh let me win like we won the rugby world cup <laughs> That's from uh, Andre. Let's uh, first let's have a look what's inside here, and then we will dive in and have a build. So uh, I won't put this on the floor in case Charlie thinks it's a treat. Down there, and got some scissors here. Now let me scroll this up too, so I can see more of the stream channel. You have futures. Fair enough. It's Saturday somewhere. I thought you were a Yankee until I saw the AU Falcon in the background of a video. Oh, I don't know if I, if I should take that as a compliment or... Uh, you know where I wish I was from? Would be New Zealand. So uh, I feel like New Zealand seems to be the most chilled place ever, except they kind of banned drones recently. But the scenery, the people, I have a lot of respect for the uh, New Zealand people. All right. And let's have a look. Clown, FPV... Is in here. Okay, so here's what we're getting. We might as well do this using the build cam. That's what I've set it up for. Let's have a look here. And I'm going to try and not miss. Um, I've got. To, I don't really have anywhere to put my legs as I get under this table. This is going to be a little bit tricky. And I can probably turn this camera. Imagine if the computer just shut down. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, what's the total donation for the studio? Uh, EQ, it's hard to see that number. I think we're up to about $15. So we're $15 on our way if people want to donate. Uh, that link is in the description as well. Let's have a look. We have, let's get these out of the way. I will be using the TS100, which is my favorite soldering iron. You can see I have all my tools ready to rock and roll here. Look at that amazing lighting. It's working really, really well. So I'll put that to the side. Probably going to make a mess, but first things first, ha let's have a look at what we've got. Flack, it will open all these up. And, uh, right, they really cram it in there. Who loves a bit of plastic? The environment, that's who. We'll use this little box. I'll put some things in there. I wonder if I can zoom this out even because, look at this. Nope, yep. Let's see. Thanks for everybody for tagging me with those questions. It is making it easier. We've got our little tool section here. Um, wait, what are you giving away? That's from Logic FPV. So the giveaway is i'm sure some people can write it in the chat but it's a combination of all the prizes we've had so far that nobody's claimed so it is a cine can thing a today whatever we're going to be building today but the caveat with this one is you got to wait till i fly this one and review it and make a video on it since i'm building it i should at least review it and uh a sim key i believe we're up to so two drones and a sim key all right i swear there's a fair few aussies in here uh peeps talking about Super, super cheap and AU Falcons, absolutely. Have you heard of the baby toothpick uh, by Kebab FPV? No, I haven't, but I'll probably listen. I'll probably wait and see. I'll hear, I'm sure I'll hear about the baby toothpick 2 and the baby toothpick 3 and then the best, latest, greatest iteration of the baby toothpick 6 and 7. Um, all right, so thank you, Raven, for posting uh, the prizes in there as well. Any chance to get some guests on the stream? I have some long-range questions for Jono. Okay. That sounds interesting. We might be able to hook something up there on our special guest Sundays, but you guys will just have to stay tuned. Let's have a look what we've got. Let's open these packages up before we get started with the build. I'm going to fix this lighting up as well. This is just really, uh, you guys are the ones first here on our first real week of streaming, trying things out in the new studio, having some fun. We're going to open all these up. And uh, already I can tell two of these motors are going to be clockwise. Is there even any soldering in this thing? There better be. It's soldering Sunday. This might just be plug and play. I'm going to be a bit disappointed if that is the case. Then we might just go to a regular stream. So let's get all this plastic off to the side. I'm not going to take the props out. They can wait. All right, ESC, VTX. Uh, what do we got? Here, flight controller, 
And if you've got a super chat as well and you throw it in, don't worry, I won't miss those questions because they give me a little notification. There's some uh, zip ties that gives me like a little sound thing. So I shouldn't, I'm going to try and not miss too much as well. Uh, Carlos, what do you have to do to win an item in the giveaway? You have to enter the giveaway form. That's what you got to do, brother, and watch the stream. But I know you guys are here too for my amazing content, right? Not just to win some from free drone stuff. Okay. Let's have a look. We have a cool canopy, some motors, which I'm going to get confused. And uh, there's, we're going in here. No instructions. No instructions came in this, this box. A whole bunch of little screws and standoffs. More screws and standoffs, although they look like they're for the props. Where? How can we get this sorted? Which way do we need to go? This way a bit more. Bear with me. Hang on. Okay, uh, rubbish, standoffs, USB programming, little dongle, uh, what a good budget, 6S batteries are good, that's from Crazy Russian Pilot. We did have a Google of them, uh, and I think we, I'm going to put all these screws to the side, I think uh, a good option was the R lines, actually. So we, you know what, oh, we do have to do a little bit of soldering, thank God, because it wouldn't be soldering Sundays without that. All right, let me get right in, nice and snug in here. <laughs> I'm paranoid about kicking the power cable that's powering all this stuff. We've got to get uh, this in focus as well. And I, maybe I should put my monitor here for soldering Sundays so I can just look up and do work. Or maybe I could be building right here in front of it. Okay. At UAV Futures, this is from Spleef uh, FPV. At UAV Futures, should I go for a 5-inch or a toothpick? I really want to be fast and zip around corners and triggers, and I don't think a 5-inch can corner that well with the weight. Well, you would be amazed. There is a reason people race 5 inches. It's because they are the fastest. Toothpicks are just a fun little exercise in trying to replicate that 5-inch, but if you really want to go fast, 5 inches are where it's at. Uh, you need that USB dongle where, wherever we put that. Okay, uh, Mike, you can come pick that up, brother. I'll put it in the mailbox for you. And Logic FPV, when will the winner get the email? Because I have to go soon. Man, you're just going to have to wait and watch the stream. It's uh, We're going to put the prize. The prizes will be in here. They will be discussed. If you are really, really desperate, sorry, brother. Just got to be like everybody else and watch the whole stream. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, first things first, let's have a look at how this is going to go together. So this is backwards on my screen. We've got our little base plate. I'm going to guess this part goes at the back. Are we going to build this without even looking at the instructions? I think that that might be best. Let's find out what happens. This is going to be our top little canopy. We're going to have our ESCs, and it says facing forward. So there we go. And we're going to have our battery lead. It's going to come out the back. Uh, camera Addict, good evening. Just joined. What soldering iron do you use? And as I'm looking to upgrade, we're going to be using this. The holy grail of soldering irons that no one will ever regret buying. It is, let me get my tools out of the way, I'll need them. The TS-100. This this little beauty is is a little beauty. This thing works really, really well. Uh, we've just had Dave, Dave Parge donated for $6.39. And he's saying thanks to you. Absolutely my pleasure. Let me know if you've got some questions in here too, because it should pop up in the stream at a big bright uh bright little icon so thank you so much but the ts100 it is the best soldering iron as far as i'm concerned and also check this out uh it makes it nice and easy you simply plug it in here and this one can be powered from a lipo so when you're uh here we, when you're organized like i am of course uh we can power it up and yeah, now, so you're in the field, you can simply charge it off your LiPo, power it off your LiPo. Bob's your uncle, you're away having some fun. So I'm just going to leave it unplugged so I don't burn myself straight away, just as I get have a look at this. So this is going to go here. This all looks plug and play. We're going to have to solder on a capacitor. This looks like it's for our receiver. So all we really need to do is solder in our cap and uh, solder. This is bummer that's an XT30. I probably would have liked an XT60. And our motors are, what are they? 1204, 6000 kV. So that's a pretty interesting choice for motor. And sorry, I know that's moving around. I'm just doing my best here. Uh, Logic, oh man, thanks. I'm waiting on a tiny hawk ready to fly. A little bit too excited. Nightbot, uh, we got Bot Grinder FPV. So welcome, Bot Grinder. Uh, it says message deleted. Ah. Oh. 
My bot grinder was timed out for a couple of seconds. Bummer that I missed that. Let's see what his message. Can I view deleted message? Sorry, I just got Nightbot set up, bot grinder. Uh, and he's saying, hey, Stu. So, man, I wish bot grinder wasn't put in FPV. I'm going to tell you a funny story, right? So we had a big laugh about this yesterday on the stream. Bot guy, let, this, this deserves uh, some face cam. Action. So Bot Grinder joined into our stream yesterday, sent all his viewers here to raid it, and I got a message on my stream saying Bot Grinder has joined is uh on my Steam saying from one of my mates from Malice saying hey Bot Grinder's raiding your stream it was a bit of a joke. All his viewers came in, started spamming Bot Bomb, Bot Bomb. I had no idea what was going on because I was trying to answer another question. This, I'm getting a notification down here on my stream. This stream's going crazy. It was going a bit ridiculous, and uh, Bot, I got to say, I read it as hey, a bot has invaded your stream because I saw the numbers clicking over. I didn't think, man, we've got like 200 viewers in here. That must be some sort of, uh, I don't know. Is that a mistake? It can't jump up that quickly. So I thought I was just get raided from an internet bot. Well, I didn't realize it was your fans. And then I thought it was like the Grinder bot when someone said it was from Grinder. I was like, wait, so like the, uh, the mail hookup app or something like that. So I was pretty sure that there was some sex app from the internet sending everything in here and it's like man this is getting a bit weird and then i realized oh it is bot grinder so i was trying to keep my cool then i realized it was you brother and you were just messing with me so nothing but respect for you man i wish nightbot would stop deleting your messages bot grinder but i did see you say haha you've been put in timeout for 600 seconds i do need to fix that i'm not going to fix it right now but it's because I, that'll take me too long and not everyone wants to watch that. But uh, definitely, it was pretty funny. So it was, it did make me laugh a lot. When I, when I was telling my friends, they were uh, pissing themselves laughing. Okay, let's get into a little bit of soldering because that's what this one is all about. So we're just going to go, not screen cam. It is labeled as, let's go dog cam plus face because no, that's not it. We want build cam plus face. There we go. That's that's the one we're after. Iowa Gaming is. I ordered the DJ goggles for. Looking forward to them. Now I need a new drone. So well, welcome to the uh, to the future, brother. You're gonna absolutely love it. First things first. We are going to solder this up and get the soldering out of the way using the TS100. So I might miss a few questions here and there while we're just doing this first little bit because then I feel I can really build the rest. It doesn't even need to be in roof cam. I can build it right here in front of you guys and get back to answering some things. Um, what luck i'm trying to this one is from single i'm trying to enter into fpv and i was thinking in do i build a drone or buy a pre-built honestly we used to say build your own because you're going to be learning quite a lot almost set that on my battery that's not a good idea we're getting a few few lead fumes in here and um probably have some burn marks because i'm not set up in terms of having a little soldering iron i can it smells like burning plastic you know that's that's always brilliant i'll clean my soldering iron before we start And uh, these are just all good little exercises, good run-throughs for getting this better in the future. And I want to know too, this is this is going to annoy me how this camera is going to shake around. We're going to need to fix that at some point as well. But I'll sit that there. That's fine because that's resting on metal. And bear with me. I need to get some blue tack. So give me 20 seconds less less than that. Sorry, Charlie. I'm going to go get some blue tack because that is an in amazing tool to use. Is the Flywoo T Nano worth using? Uh, I actually don't know. Does the kit have a receiver? No, it does not. So give me tw wherever two seconds. I'll be right back with some blue tack. And Bill is asking X9 light jumper or T16 for beginners. Uh, 
I'm going to say the jumper. I think that's a, a better one. Right. So I've got a little bit of blue tech here. I pulled it off the back of a poster. I do wish I had more, but this is as good as we're going to get. And I need to know, it says positive and negative. So I'll try and get a better camera too. This is, like I keep saying, just a bit of a trial. Let's solder this thing up and see how we go. So got my soldering here. It is, here is the soldering. If you are interested, it is 6040 tin. This, I just dropped something on the floor as well. It was probably important to the build, but we'll, uh, we'll find out. And I'm just going to dive right in. Try not to sniff too many of these uh, fumes. There's one pad. That pad didn't seem to be quite as nice. There's the the other pad. Um, Skadoosh is in the chat. Hey, you have futures. Does the battery on the quad block video signal if it's between the antenna and the goggle? You, like it would. It there it would uh, affect the RF integrity trying to go through the battery, but it's going to be moving around that much that it's only probably going to be in that orientation for a split second anyway. All right. And now, even though this has uh, some solder on it, I'm going to say we're going to put some of our nice own solder on here as well. I know this isn't in focus. You guys are just going to have to deal with it for the first episode of Solder Saturdays. Get them nice and shiny. All right. And now... This is the part that I wish people would see. Uh, this really does need to zoom in a little bit more. Uh, Ben's saying, say hi to, to Skadoosh. Uh, thanks, Ben. Uh, I did say hi to Skadoosh. Callum, hey, sorry I'm late. I'm not missing a single stream from now on. Well, welcome back, Callum. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're trying things a little bit different. I'm going to be putting together a little build. This is like very early days on how to set this stream up and everything like that. So this is the first soldering Saturday. Next Saturday, uh, I'm going to try and be not more organized, but refine this a little bit. We're still learning. Like I've learned, this camera is going to be moving around. If I move the bench in the slightest, uh, we're going to need a bit more lighting here. I've got to work on Nightbot, all that sort of stuff. So anyway, uh, Skadoosh, don't think, any will be, don't think anything will ever be back to normal again uh, in the world. Yeah, it's a little bit, um, it is a little bit crazy, and especially over there. Uh, Mike. I must have missed your first message. And Tom Lansby, you single-handedly maybe want to get into this hobby. My first drone crashed and then, I've got to scroll up here. My first drone crashed and caught fire, but I will one day be able to buy a new one and get back in the air. Thanks for being awesome, Stuart. Well, thanks for that lovely, kind comment uh, right there. FBV Nick, thank you very much, brother. Uh, let me see if I can read this. Uh, from your For your new camera, buy DJI. Oh, I've got to figure out how to fix it. Ah. For your new camera, buy GGI so you can stream 4K. Lol. Okay, so absolutely. Thank you so much, Nick, uh, for that donation because we are working on getting some studio upgrades in here as well. So, uh, Nick, at the moment, you are single-handedly single funding this. Let's uh, stop wasting this solder, which is on the end here. I've got to put some new stuff on the end of my tip. Give it a bit of a clean. Who thought doing a live build was uh, would be so tricky, hey? All right, let's do it. And this will be in the giveaway as well. So I'm going to give this away at the end of the stream. Rest it on here. You want to get in and out. A couple of seconds. Yep, that'll do. Let's do the other one. And that will do as well. So we're all soldered up. Something I want to make really clear is just... Don't muck around when it comes to soldering. You want to do it as quickly as you can. So a couple of seconds, the join, the joint should be done. Stupid Nightbot is uh, deleting some people's uh, messages saying something about caps. It's just been a, a bit of a pain. Uh, and Air War, Chopper, Chopper Girls, Air War. I bought 1500s of new quad stuff. What else are you going to do in a Great Depression but fly? Uh, well, yeah, you could fly. That's a that's a that's some some big spendings right there. Let's uh, get this soldering iron out of my hands and solder this capacitor on, which I think I dropped on the floor. That might have been the critical part we dropped, so bear with me. It's going to be somewhere here. Oh, thanks so much, uh, Marcus. Fal... Fal... Mer... 
Marusus Felicus. So sorry, I can't uh, pronounce that, brother. But thank you very much. We'll be using that to upgrade this studio for sure. I need to find this capacitor because that goes on the build right now. I'll just take the elevator down. found a crayon and nothing but professional professionalism here uh, and Roscoe's saying I spent over four grand in a year he's been flying FPV that's a lot Valley did you see where this capacitor went All right, thanks for Malice for posting that build. You wouldn't believe it. The capacitor had rolled like, I don't know, maybe close to a meter away. I have no idea how something this small ended up getting so far away. But let's solder that in now. And I'm going to make sure, double confirm with me. I'm pretty sure this little... Where's face cam? Here we go. So the white part is the negative part of a capacitor from uh, unless I'm having a complete brain meltdown. So we're going to solder that in. Let me know if I am doing that wrong in the stream. But let's go back here to, uh, what is it, build cam? There we go. So build cam. That's what I've named it on my little OBS studio thing. And you see right here, I feel like this is too long. These wires are stupidly long. So we're going to trim those down. Uh, to about that much. And I'm going to hit them with a little bit of solder. Just to make it a bit easier. Uh, I always, uh, Ben is saying he always drops things, so yes, he'd believe it. I uh, remember getting everyone to look under the table. Yeah, so when we met up with Ben one time, we are all doing a big build meetup, and uh, Ben dropped some stuff. I can't even remember what we were looking for, but uh, it did did take a while. Now I'm just going to be covering these. This wire is not like the normal wire that we're used to, but I like to put a little bit of solder on there regardless. Flick some of that other stuff off. What quad am I working on? This one is the Tyro uh, 89. I think the chat shows we had a few different options and this is what they wanted to do. Zero Fusion FPV. Evening Stu. I've been ready to purchase a new pair of goggles. I have a pair of HD3 cores and looking at a pair of DJI HDs. Is it, a, is it a good idea to purchase them without knowing what the FAA will be doing? Now look, I'm going to say yes because the you might be able to do something else with drones it doesn't have to be a five inch but we, look we can get some builds nowadays that are under the 250 gram mark limit so you'll be enjoying that it's it, you i even saw them on bangers uh they were like 400 and they were cheaper than hate fat shark hdos anyway let me solder this on then i'm going to jump in answer some more questions 276 uh clinty Stu, love your vids always watching here in winnipeg canada i hope that's how you pronounce that win win winnipeg Winner, Winnipeg, Canada. Thank you so much for your donation, brother. It really does help. Uh, we're trying to work on getting the studio up and running as well so I can focus on this live stream, make it a little bit more streamlined, focus on a better camera, make it not so wobbly, all that sort of stuff. So, And also answer some of your questions. But thank you so much. It makes my job easier, especially when I can't get outside to even fly right now, which is uh, super annoying. But let's solder this on. You, are, you guys are all distracting me. So I'm going to do the positive side first. I'm going to put a bit of fresh solder on my soldering iron. There's one. And let's get the other one ready. And there is two. All right. So uh, we've got our capacitor on there. Phil. Thank you so much for your super chat, brother. What's going on there? Uh, they pour it in through my super chat. Phil says, uh, rebuilding my micro soon. This stream is a perfect confidence builder. Thanks for the passion. Um, and then it looks like it's cut it out a little bit. So will we 
have a, have a look at yours. Thanks for the passion uh, for FBV. I also would have given up with my wooden framed quads. So if you're building, I've unplugged my uh, TS100 as well. If you're building a wooden frame quad, I don't know how many crashes that, that would last. I know mine would probably be broken on the first one. Right. Let's have a bit of a think now what we're doing with our build. We're going to be, this is going to go like this. Everything else, we've got a CADEX cam in here, which is nice. I might even screw the CADEX cam in in a little bit. Let's have a look at getting our flight controller on here. What I want to do, let's mount it. I, we don't have any instructions either, so this should be pretty interesting. Let's mount this ESC to our frame. So that's what we're going to do because everything else looks pretty plug and play. And how are we going to do this? We need four. You know what? Let's look at a picture. Let's look how they've built it on the uh, on their website. Um, right here. So, okay. The VTX is just slapped on the back. I need an underside shot. Uh, doesn't that Velcro strap's in the way just a little bit? Hmm. Okay. And people have got some full build guides and breakdowns, all that sort of stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Strong and durable. You can't see too much in under there. They've obviously got a little spacer. The spacer for the canopy. All right, let's let's see how we go. We'll we'll figure this out. All right. Um, oh, Damien Thomas, uh, thank you so much for your super chat as well. I like your advice. Well, I'm glad you're here on the stream, enjoying the uh, enjoying the chat, enjoying the channel. It's uh, today a little bit different. We're trying to build something, but it's it's going to go to plan. We're just uh, one thing I guess I need to learn is how to build and not get so distracted as well. Because for me. Uh, screens are a huge distraction and trying to focus on one thing at a time. I really need to, like I was talking to my mates on Discord and sometimes I've got to be like, no, I've got to go. Boys, i got to do work. I can't sit here and talk to you guys and finish this work. But today, it's a live stream. It's sold to Saturday. So that's what it's all about. It's all about building. Things might be a little bit different. I am trying to uh, answer some questions. So if I do miss them, I apologize. Feel free to send them in again. If Nightbot kicks you, uh, I'm sorry about that. I definitely do want to get that fixed. But thank you so much, Damien. Um, that's, that is appreciated as well. A good thing about, look, even if you do a super chat, it comes up with a, a, like a audible notification. So it tells me my headphones. Here's a question as well. But if you need to, if you're not doing a super chat, try and tag me with at UAV Futures and it will come up in a little bit of like a yellow text notification. All right. Uh, Chopper Air Girls is saying, let the man work. <laughs> Alrighty, let's uh, let's scroll down. I'll see if there's there is so many questions to answer. Will I be doing a ninety nine dollar twenty twenty build? Maybe I don't know. It's still still up in the air on that one. Uh, I stuck the VTX in the back sideways to the antenna. Left of the VTX is pitched forward and held in with a zip tie. Eshin literally throws the parts together and then makes up the name. I like why would you call the drone the trash can? I don't know. Uh, and Callum's asking again about the uh, twenty. 20 build. If you see someone ask about the $99 build in 2020, can you please say to them, oh, I've also forgot. I forgot something important as well. If you see, before I forget, distracted. Come on, Stu, focus. If you see someone ask about the 20, the $99 build, can you guys in chat say, he's not sure if he's going to be doing that or just uh, something along those lines. Zero Fusion FBV, thanks for the huge help, Stu. It is absolutely my pleasure. But what I have forgotten is uh, I'm sorry to pooch down here that every time someone was a donation of over five bucks, I was like, yeah, all right, puppy, I'll, uh, I'll give you some snacks. So I have to have a look right here and count up how many dog treats I have to give the dog. Let's have a look here since we started. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right, Charlie, you, it's your lucky day, buddy. You're going to get two full-size uh, smackos right here. All right, and Scooter, Scooter File FPV is saying, Stu, real men don't read instructions. Mate, sometimes I do, honestly. Here you go. 
That's from everybody today. You actually get a bit spoiled, Pooch. The one problem is, though, when we're doing build cam, you guys can't see this puppy down here. See? And Charlie's been with me a long time as well. He's about seven years old. Okay. Uh... We're getting some other things. Let's have a look here. Join Discord. I have a feeling this build may take a while. That's it. We have sold a lot. We're going to soldier on. We've done our soldering on. Let's find out. We're just going to make it up and go with it. You guys are with me. We can build this together. Let's have a look. First things first, what I want to do, I want to mount. Look at me rolling now. Uh, I want to mount this flight controller to here. We're going to need some sort of standoff between them. Why? Because otherwise I feel like we'll be having a short. If I have a look here. These tiny standoffs, hopefully, if we've got four of them, they're going to be the go-to. One, two, you'd think I'd build enough quads in my par in my time to uh, be able to have some idea. I guess the reason I'm so concerned about making it wrong is because I don't want people to follow along and be like, oh, Stuart did this, do that. I've got, I'd be happy to build, with, build this, you know, just winging it if this wasn't an educational video. But let me know in the chat. Should we just say to hell with it? Don't use this as a reference tool. Let's just build and have fun and find out what happened. I'm kind of feeling like maybe that's where we want to go. So I'm going to be using those four screws. I am going to use these screws to screw through the carbon into that plate. They're going to need some longer ones here. One, two, uh, three. Carlos donated as well, so thank you very much. Should I use a DJI transmitter or Crossfire? Here, I really feel like it depends what radio you want to use. If you prefer cross the Crossfire radio and you've already got one, like that's something like the TBS Tango 2, you can use that. Or uh, I actually do honestly really like the uh dj radio that it came with and the reason i also like it is because it just sets up it all binds nicely and you can you can use that where it, it you know it's going to work like you know you're going to i feel like i've got the confidence i've got confidence with both of them but something i really liked when i saw the video confidence i had with the dji it was crazy uh i think man if that's how far the video can go how far can the control link go so and then i do feel like the transmitter actually i thought it'd feel like a cheap toy but it feels kind of nice as well so if they go in there I'm still going to need four standoffs to go between this and that. So why is that's probably going to be those. We need some little spaces or something. What are you doing, Ishin? You haven't given us nearly enough here. They're going to be for the outside of the canopy. Here's some, I'm pretty sure they're for the motors. These are all rubber. <sighs> hmm. One, Okay, we're winging it. We're winging it, guys. I'm just going to use these longer screws. They'll make me feel more comfortable. We're going through the bottom of the quad. We're going to put on one of these stupid spaces, which I don't know why these are so... Ugh, that's so much space. Do, how much space does this need? A fair bit. So if you look in here, I don't want, the, I don't want this to be touching the carbon. Um... Pain is a weakness leaving the body. That's what Russ is saying. So it sounds like some army talk right there. Uh, blade to FPV. Stu, what zip tie are you using uh, on your TS100? I'm not using any zip ties. So I don't know what you mean What you mean right there. Okay, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get some little spacer in here, but it doesn't look like they've given us a spacer because we don't want this to be touching the carbon. If I put this on like this, and then we have to put this on. That gap is ridiculous, right? So we don't want a gap that big. That's just dumb. But there's no other option. I don't I don't understand. Unless they want us to use these if we use these tiny ones. Right, let's say let's say this is held up by one of these tiny tiny little spaces here that's underneath that goes through but then what do we put on this side oh a e sheen nothing but the highest quality okay well uh we're just going to cram it down i'm just going to go with it i'm uh, not not uh reading instructions not trying to figure out their madness anymore this is what we're doing all right i'm going to screw this down Uh, 
And I can answer some questions why I do this as well. If you've got some questions, far away. what I'm going to be doing, if I go to face cam and face cam plus dog, there we go. What I'm going to be doing is just simply screwing down four standoffs onto here as well. So we've got some long little things. Uh, those motors, uh, the motors plugs kind of the rest of in the carbon. I don't understand that, Pedro, if you could just re-clarify what you, what you mean there. Uh, those standoffs, Raven's having a bit of a laugh here. I have a feeling this is going to take about three hours. Thanks to, that's what Epilogue is saying. Well, aren't you guys lucky? We can answer questions and hang out for three hours. Um, I'm supposed to go shopping after this to get some supplies as well. So, but who knows? Maybe, uh, oh, what have you been doing? I've just been building drones all day. <laughs> that's uh, never, never something bad anyway. And of course, these screws fit on perfectly with uh no friction whatsoever uh discord link invalid do i need to donate to join no discord is absolutely free if my discord link is invalid there will be one posted po possibly by the nightbot which is coming i need to change the one in the description donny you madman is giving me a thumbs up so thank you very much there brother hugely appreciated let me know what the time is over there as well it might be nine o'clock at night i think where you guys are which is where it gets confusing because now it's uh, it's coming up 11 o'clock in the morning over here. I had to get up early this morning uh, because I gave my wife a sleep in and the baby was asleep. So And then our daughter calls out from her room. She's got one of those little gates that stops kids running through the house all day. So she's pretty much locked inside. And uh, then we said, uh, I my, my wife woke me up and said, can you go, can you go get... Uh, Sadie and I was like, yeah, sure. And in my dream, though, uh, her she was going, mommy or daddy, screaming at something. It was coming through. There was like trumpets. So I was watching some video game trailer or something like that. And uh, her screaming was the actual trumpet noises. Now, I'm missing. Let's use one of these other screws. It probably says not to, but we're just going to be throwing it all together. Imagine this. We've just done the whole build, and then it turns out that, oh, no, I actually just missed something. There was some instructions. There's not. But anyway, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we've got chocolate pretzel money. So, oh, Raven. What? <laughs> okay, Raven's giving me a donation for some chocolate pretzels as well. Thank you very much, brother. Hugely appreciated. Uh, and the story behind that is uh, I found some chocolate pretzels once, and I was like, man, what are these? Malice, I think, actually had them. I tried Malice's, and they were amazing. I uh, wonder why a lot of the pilots don't do any carbon fiber prepping. Uh, I don't know. When it's on a cheap kit like this, I don't think I'd be too concerned. And if you buy an expensive one, then you probably would hope it's on for you. Okay, let's see. Is this this should slide over the top? Look at that. It fits. I'm still not happy with it. I still feel like it is touching the carbon. Just they are. Uh, this this camera is actually much better quality that we're looking at here. I feel like it is touching the carbon a little bit on this little plastic piece here. So the end of this, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, roll with it though, because none of the metal parts are touching the carbon. I feel like it's gonna be okay. We still have a bit of clearance. And if it catches on fire, then I'll just blame someone else, you know? That's what, that's what it's about. This part is the part that is rubbish. So now we are stuck with some stupid standoffs and what I'm going to do, I'm going to just cut these little rubber grommets in half and use them as our standoffs. I wonder if I can just even stick them straight on the top. No. I'm pretty sure this is not what you are supposed to be doing. But we'll get it flying as well. People don't understand as well, back in the day, when we used to have to, back in the day, back in my day, uh, Iwa Gaming, thank you so much, brother. Uh, took your advice and ordered the new EV100s. Uh, and the new goggles are going... Sorry, I took your advice and ordered new goggles. EV100s going in the bin. DJI are on their way. I'm going to say you need to... Don't throw those out, man, because someone else might want to come along for a ride along. You might have some friends or family. Even dodgy cheap goggles are still going to blow some people's minds. And you can buy a cheap adapter as well to turn your DJI into analog. Uh, also, thank you for your donation, brother. Uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to put this flight controller on here. Let me jump in, have a look here. Crazy Russian Pilot, uh, China Hobby Line 6S batteries, good. Uh, they're okay. Ask Malazvex what happened to his batteries. I've had not the best experiences with them. They are cheap, 
that's why people get them. But then I feel like the longevity isn't really there. Let's go to build cam. James is saying you need to use the screw standoffs near the motors and put them through the frame, then put the screw in the bottom and place the flight controller on the top and secure it, secure it down with another screw. You're telling me that the flight controller, okay, we're getting somewhere. So the flight controller is actually where you are, is mounted in the top little canopy here. Hmm. Interesting. So you don't build it the way that I am building it. That is dumb. That is dumb. Who builds a quad like that? I'm not used to these crazy ideas. All right. Let's uh, let's do that then. Let's screw this in here. I've just cut those four rubber standoffs in half. I'm sure that will have zero implications. And you know what? First things first. Let's uh, plug in the camera. Let's put the camera in here. So camera... We've got VTX, Direx TX. I'm going to guess it's this one at the front here. Yeah. All right, so there's our camera. We're going to slide that into the canopy. Thank you so much, uh, chat, for helping me put this together. Be nice if uh, they gave you some instructions, right? Like they built it once. This is probably why, hopefully this isn't why people are watching my video to learn how to do it. Um, the rubber bits are for the canopy. That's why they're double height. Well, good news. Uh, we cut them in half, so don't worry too much. <laughs> but we will make it do. All right, and now I'm going to need some long screws to screw this in. Man, building under pressure. I would be the worst in like master chef super cook off where you need to build a drone in this amount of time remember the limited light what i'm doing now i'm just putting a simple screw in to hold the camera in place as well keep firing your questions away as well we're just going to try and hopefully this is the right size for this i've just pretty much picked any random screw this one doesn't look like it's wanting to go into the camera first let me check if this actually does fit the camera uh you did so uh you did so well with those now everyone ask uh is it is it safe to use can air to clean a drone yeah i think so absolutely if it's a bit if it's a bit dirty, a bit dusty, you can definitely blast it out in the motors. You guys get this? Man, the lighting in here is terrible. I'm trying to line up the screw hole with the camera, but I can't even see in there. Black on black on black. Okay, we got one. We got one. Uh, what's your grasp on the New Zealand drone rules? They seem uh, not conducive to FPV, that's for sure. You know, it's a bit unfortunate, I would say. That would be my take on the whole situation. All right, we're going to use this other longer one for another camera screw. There's also a giveaway form linked in the description because somebody's going to be winning this. All right. Our camera is in place, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, give out, sh a sh give a shout out to Bot Grinder. He needs you to build for him. Uh, well, this this build looks right up Bot Grinder's alley. So if it's going to burst into flames, um, he's probably going to love it. He'd be like, "Yeah, I can, I can handle that. I can relate to that." I've got nothing but love for that man. I think uh, someone I really respect in this community and in this hobby. And the best bit is, he's just himself as well. So now what we're going to do, because I feel like this build camera isn't quite as nice, we're going to, we will jump over to that at some point, but I'm going to, in our canopy, we're going to secure the, uh, this flight controller straight down, but I'm going to put in this little plug, which will allow us to hook up our ESCs as well. Uh, and this uh, is the Esheen UK65, a good beginner drone. Um... It's okay if, from memory, that's a little brushless whoop one, right? And the, this is easy too to plug in because there's only one uh, place on the board that it can go. And I want to plug it in now before I put it all together so I don't want to have to actually take it apart. 
And if I can build this on stream, answering your questions, anybody can uh, can build and have fun with this. Okay. I just this was the best flying quad I've ever built. This is just a little bit tight trying to cram this in here. Hmm. I'm having trouble because it doesn't want to fit nicely once I've plugged that in. The plug is a little bit in the way. Props off. Have you thought about uh, have you thought about help making quad parts with your name on them? Yeah, but I don't want to do that. That's just not um, what I'm going to make. I'm going to charge extra people money just because it's got my name on it. I don't feel like that's something that that I would feel comfortable comfortable doing really. So that's why that's why you don't don't see that. All right, I'm going to screw this down. It doesn't actually line up properly, so the canopy's out of whack a little bit. It doesn't matter. We're going to make do, and then. Actually, I wonder, can the canopy, can this just go straight on like this and screw into there? I feel like that's, that would be pretty cool if that happened. Uh, that's what we're going to do. Yep, 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 yep. All right. I'd buy a camera with the UAV features on the front with a little logo. Uh, you know what you could do? You could, uh, I actually do have some UAV features Velcro straps over on my Patreon if you want to head over there. But as far as the camera, that could get quite expensive as well. Like, you know, camera's going to cost people a lot of money. And I don't want them to have to spend any extra money on a big purchase like that just because my name's on the front of it. All right. What I'm going to do, for those people following at home, this part is not fitting in the top of the canopy. However... We are going to try and jam it in the top of this canopy, uh, in the top of the ESC. But first, what do I need to do here? I'm going to connect my ESC wire, which is this one here, uh, to the flight con to the flight controller. This is the worst build video I've ever done. This is why I don't do live builds. It'd be, you know, what would probably be a lot easier if it was a build that wasn't doing things, I guess, so differently than what I'm used to. And I had to rehearse and actually had a look at it, but we before this we'd never even opened the packet and uh, seen what it looked like inside. Okay, so now I'm going to slide the flight controller on, making sure I get it around the right way. Now that can't possibly work. That doesn't work. Why? Because the flight controller is a different orientation. Man, this. This I'm not a fan of this. I got to say, the way this is coming together, I'm not really a, a big fan of it. Uh, have you tried the Flywoo mo the Flywoo Nin motors? Nope, I haven't. Uh, 2207.5 seems powerful. Yeah, I feel like that 0.5 is just there to make you spend the extra money, man. And then we'll have then you're going to buy the 2208s when someone else comes out with it, and it's all just it's all just hype to extract dollars from your pocket. So I don't know. Um, that's that's how I feel about that anyway. Okay, uh, I do need to screw this down and stop procrastinating. All we've done so far is sold on one one thing. Uh, do you think that a HDMI port is a must when buying FPV goggles? I used to, and uh, that was because I wanted to hook it up to the sim, and it used to be a point of disting. Uh, what's the word? A point distinguish distinguishation like a point to make it different. Someone please tell me what that word is before I'm making up some Australian English here. But uh, nowadays, not really. The amount of times I've used HDMI once I got over the gimmick part of flying a sim on it very briefly is uh, not not really whatsoever. So don't don't make that your deciding factor. Maybe some people use their own uh, and use it more, but for me, no, nah, not really. And keep your questions in. Tag me with at UAV Futures as well if you want to. I can't believe we have 155 people, poor souls, watching me struggle putting together a kit quad that's meant to come with everything that you need. Next week, next Solder Saturday, we'll be far more organized. We'll put build a proper big quad, that, uh, and I'll try and set some things up as well. So the camera and the lighting will be better. You don't have to watch me struggle. All right. Uh, let's, see, let's see. Andrew Nelson is saying, thank you for tagging me. Uh, awesome stream. You're a very humble dude. Any advice on places to order from outside from the usual Get FBV, Race Drone, or Pyro Drone? Now, they're usually your best bets in the US, and a lot of people uh, 
I guess, don't enjoy ordering from Bangers. But I know internationally for a lot of people, and especially across Europe, Bangers is like the only option. So if you're in the US, they are really your best best places to order from, the ones that you've just said, from GetFBV, Race Day Quads, Pyro Drone, those places. But for other people, if you are international, and I know especially for a lot of European viewers, uh, shout out to Mark over in Denmark, where he can't get a lot of these parts except through Bangers. So uh, as much as people love to hate them, uh, they do do some good things and get a lot of pilots in the air. If you're in the US, though, you guys don't understand how lucky you are. All right, we're securing this down, and it doesn't fit properly, so uh, we're just going to kind of force it to happen. The dog is snoring. <laughs> All right, and I'll answer some more questions. Uh, your ESC is upside down. Are you sure about it? It's the same way the pictures are, bro. So that's that's the same way it is in the picture. Uh Leader back is saying, Banggood has been my place to go and it's been great with returning the money if I'm not satisfied. Every guy is named Mark here. Oh, Mark, that what, in uh, in Denmark? Ha, I get it. <laughs> Make sure the USB holes line up. USB holes. Like, you mean on the flight controller USB? The flight controller is in the correct way. Anyway, maybe maybe Ben's talking about something else. Here. But we we digress. I digress. We all get distracted. Uh, no lucky stew. Americans work hard to have lucky. Okay, that's true. But um, I wish there was more FPV pilots in Australia, so we had more place. I wish we had 300 million people, so then in Australia we could uh, buy some drone parts a lot easier as well. So at the moment we have like phaser FPV, and then that's about it. All right, we're securing this in here. Now all I'm going to do is literally just jam this together. I have made a mistake because I didn't put the flight, the receiver wire in here, but it's looking, it's looking okay. Hmm. I'm going to need three long screws. And of course I've used the wrong ones in the thing. Man, this build is really frustrating me all right the screws i've screwed it in with are too long so the original ones when you know when we said we're just going to wing it and go with it they're too long so we're going to take those off if you ever come uh this one's from callum if you ever come to Amer come out to america could you go to Washington? Man, I feel like there'd be so many places I'd have to visit. I'd want to go to like one of the big FEV meetups or somewhere in flight test, that sort of stuff. Barnsey, at your, if I do a backflip, is it, if I do a backflip, it's causing a death spin. I can do a front flip and a roll, but uh, all day, but not a backflip. Is this a gyro problem? The quad flies fine till I do a backflip, then bam, a death spin. So, you know, that means it's not, uh, not desync. Uh, it's not called, I was like, initially when you started to talk about that, I was like, maybe it's like a spike in voltage. So the motor's spinning up and then stopping completely. But if you can do a front flip and a side flip, uh, a, a side flip also known as a roll, uh, I'm not, not sure. So maybe try resetting your gyro. Uh, I can't help you with there because it's that problem of it's only on a backflip seems really, really bizarre. Uh, license to drive. If you had 3 million people in Australia, wouldn't that fill it all up? Uh, if you have a look at the land mass in Australia, it's about the same size uh, as the states. The problem is the middle is all just desert, um, like nothing but sand. Uh, Australia needs more shipping uh, barges and ditch the globy govet. That's from not sure. Not sure what you do, what you mean there. Uh, backflip, death roll, motor idle, and air mode too too low. Uh, Et FPV. Uh, your choice of microcam. Uh, thanks for being Stu. So thank you so much for your donation there, ET. I'm going to say uh, my choice of a microcam would be. You know, I do really like Cadex. I feel like they get a bigger for the price. I feel like Cadex is doing really, really well. I know some people love things like the really expensive. Um, me, out Malice is saying my ESC is upside down. Check the picture. My ESC is not even on here. 
But uh, favorite micro camp. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Et. Uh, I I would say anything that uh, Cadex does because they are a well valued price uh, price little. This screws annoy me. Well valued priced camera. Don't buy into the hype. I don't feel like getting a really really expensive top notch camera is always the best choice, um, especially when it comes to these micro ones. But generally, most of the time now. Whether you're flying Cadex, Runcam, or uh, Foxy, you know you're still going to have an awesome time. Do not get a really, really cheap cam though. The really, really cheap FPV cameras are not ideal. Okay, we are welcome back to the UAV Futures stream where we're doing a live soldering session today. We've done nothing but uh, solder on two wires, and it's taken us over one hour and ten minutes to get started. Uh, <laughs> props off if you want to attend the flight test, uh, flight fest. Uh, you can stay here and ride up with me, bro. Plus, I have many, many spots to fly. Sounds good, brother. I'd love to. I'd probably love to bring an entourage as well, though. So, uh, Crash Scale, Granger, a lot of the other boys would want to come along and come flying. Now, apparently, my ESC is meant to. I'm going to look at this picture. Is meant to go. Here we go. This way. Okay. So, they are using. Now I feel like I've soldered this incorrectly. I have soldered this incorrectly. We've got to go the complete opposite way. So they're using these little plastic connections on the bottom uh, as the standoff to hold that up from the frame. That's what it looks like. It doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Um, I And Leaderbuck is saying, I bought a pre-built Mantis from Banggood and it drove like crap. Let me scroll up. Uh, uh, always and a sizzled ESC to soldering. They ref, uh, Banggood refunded the money and I, you, and I replaced the whole stack. So yeah, so I'd say that's good on Bangers there for replacing that. And that is the Happy Model Mantis 85, which isn't a reflection on uh, Bangers. That's from the Happy Model brand. So the Bangers that drone there is not good. I think the only real drones that Banggood makes are the Eshim brand. I'm pretty sure they're intertwined somehow, although I don't know exactly uh, exactly the details there. James Sandler uh, is saying, uh, what field of view is best for freestyle? Um, like, uh, as I think as wide as possible so you can see as much. The narrower it goes, like, uh, it, we used to race on like 2.8, but now it's like down to 1.8 or 1.5. So I feel like a, if you have a look there, most of the times now, I would say it's around a 1.8 field of view lens uh we have nick here with another super chat here you go buddy biggest shareholder of the uav futures uh thing yeah that is man so you can sit on that executive board there with the donations i'll have to ask you what color would you want light so nick you're in charge of the light color if i can ever get uh that figured out how to actually change it uh props off sorry there that don't type any more props off because nightbot is getting a bit annoying all you're giving me is the thumbs up a beer and a fist pump um, I don't know why Nightbot is doing that. Now, what we are supposed to do now, we, because we didn't have any instructions and we just went ahead and soldered, I've soldered this on upside down. So the capacitor and the XT30 lead, the battery lead, need to be on the other side of this, but we're just going to go with it. I'm going to build it just like this. I can't be bothered to take it apart and solder it on the other way because I feel like that's not, I don't want the pressure of this ESC mounted on these little plastic parts on top here. You should not be using these as a standoff. And people are saying, let me focus. What, where, are we ever going to get through this build? What FPV goggle field of view is best for freestyle is what I meant. Oh, okay. Anything between 30 to 40. So like 32 degree field of view, 34. It really just is how wide the screen feels to you. That's what I would say. If you're looking at the Fat Shark style. Uh, hey, is there a way I can know, and Callum is asking, I can know my battery voltage without a pair of goggles on screen. Uh, I wouldn't know, but how would I, but how would I know, man, I need some, I need some commas in there and some syntax, please. Uh, Callum <laughs> and Christian B, what capacitor for tiny whoop, uh, for video noise? Uh, what do we got here? So this one, I'm going to guess, let's read out the exact specs of this. Probably want something fairly tiny, although I don't think that uh, toothpicks should be making too much noise anyway on micros. Let's have a look. Let me see. The Let's see if we have a capacitor in here somewhere. 
All right. I'm going to, rather than searching through, here we, nope, nope. Flight controller. Hmm. I'm not too sure, brother. I don't know what we're using on here. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, I digress. Uh, what's, uh, I've got to stop looking at these questions, boys. You're distracting me way too much. <laughs> oh, the stream. I can't believe we have 166 people watching. Oh, not that one. This one. This is what we're trying to click. But uh, I'm meant to be doing a build. I am kind of struggling and fun. I've put things on backwards. We don't have any instructions. We're not too sure what's happening. However, we're going to just make it up and we're going to go with it. So now what I'm going to do, and I, I don't want to use this camera too much. This camera is annoying me when it comes to this one right here because I feel like I've got to lean over too much. The lighting's terrible. You guys probably can't see anything as well. Let me know, would you prefer me just talking to you like this and talking about what I'm doing, or do you want to see the build cam? That's up to you, whatever you choose. Uh, use the standoffs, Stu, the standoffs. Yeah, these tiny little standoffs, I'm going to be using them, but uh, I still don't feel like that is ideal. That screw's going to be too short. Between Nightbot and Stu, this is rather amusing. So that's from Barnes. Yeah. So here's a, I'm, what I'm doing. I'm showing you like not what to do. So if you ever want to do your own live stream build, just watch this one as a reference and think, yep, what a train wreck. That's what we're not going to be doing. A lot of these, I feel like they don't give me enough screws or standoffs or things that I want. All right. People are saying uh, Skyzone O3Os, Fat Shark HDOs, or Orcas. Chief, are you about to buy some new goggles right now? Someone, Sam, saying train wreck. People saying gold. Uh, yeah, Chief FPV, you saying you're going to buy some new analog goggles. Uh, it, do you have a set already? Tell me about your fleet because also the DJIs are rather cheap. They're kind of cheaper than the new HDOs at the moment. Epilogue is saying Nightbot is mad. Man, Nightbot, what are you doing? So sorry that it's banning everybody. I will. Uh, it's putting people in timeout. I will go in and fix that for sure, just not right now. We have enough things to struggle through at the moment, this build being number one. Feels like I'm putting together a jigsaw puzzle. Imagine that for a Twitch stream, jigsaw building. Jigsaw building with Stu. Uh, Joseph F., if I could change one thing, if you could change one thing about your favorite uh, TX, what would you change? Kind of a weird question, I know. Do you mean like one thing about my transmitter? Um, what would I change? Uh, let me let me just put this on. I kind of love everything on the TBS Tango 2. So I don't know if I would change too much. Okay, here we go. What about this, boys and girls? We've got the standoffs in here. I'm going to put it on upside down, which is the correct way, even though I've soldered it in incorrectly. And then I'm going to use these four little screws to screw this down. Uh, I would probably change that... Man, I I honestly love the TBS Tango 2 for everything that it does. I, I don't... Oh, maybe the USB. Excuse me. The USB goes on the top. Callum, I want to know my voltage on the screen. Will it show on my... You want to see the voltage on your FlySky i6 screen? Sorry, Callum. I don't know if that is possible with those cheaper FlySky radios on that cheap radio. I don't know how they go with telemetry. Um... At UAV Futures, your lucky bot is offline today. <laughs> I don't know about the... Oh, okay. No, I, I like it. It's, this is I enjoy a stream when... Uh, I enjoy the stream no matter what happens. It doesn't have to go perfect, and that's not what this channel is all about. I'm just like you guys. We make mistakes. We're just, just about having fun. That's this entire hobby, and that's the way I like to look at it anyway. Now, this screw here, trying to screw this on, it's uh, not fitting at all. It seems to be low quality. And the top of this bolt on the top of this standoff doesn't want to go on. This little nut doesn't matter. We'll get through. Uh, Dylan P, I'm in a hot tub watching you. So uh, there we go. Probably you and Russell uh, as well. <laughs> Benjamin, uh, like, so Sky Zones, Fat Sharks, or DJI goggles. I currently have old Eshin VR7s. I have a low budget. If you have a low budget, you can go the Sky Zone O2Cs. Absolutely. No two ways about it. However, 
if you're saying low budget, but you can afford the, the uh, DJI, let's go those. Um, what's your thought on the Amanda Onway V1s? They are great if you can get them for about $150. So for 150 bucks, I'm fixing this. This is what I'm doing. For $150, uh, they have been on special for that price. Then they are a bargain. Um, what happens if a 6S quad uses an 8S or a 7S LiPo? That one is from Spritz uh, FBV. Sarazix, I don't know how to pronounce that. Help me out there, brother. But um, nothing. It just has less power. It's like uh, what happens if I'm driving a car and I only go to 80% or 60% uh, of engine capacity. There you go. It's only going to go 60% as fast. So that's the same thing on one of those. As if you're flying an 8S quad. Uh, oh, you're going the other way. If you're flying an 8S quad and you use a 6S, it's not going to go fast. If you use, if a 6S quad uses an 8S or a 7S LiPo, it's probably going to burst into flames if it goes the other way. You don't want to go faster than it is recommended. All right. We've got our ESC on here. We've uh, got our little... I haven't put my receiver in the top. I should... I should really do that now, even though I can't be bothered. But let's do it. Uh, find my little screwdriver here somewhere. It's right in front of me. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, now, two halves of rubber bits you've cut off in the canopy, and then the screw's going from the... So Ben's building this along. If you want to watch Ben's... Uh, Ben's got a video here. Ben's probably the master of this build on his channel. For me, we're going to struggle through. And uh, I find it's a bit more fun just sort of messing around, learning as well. That's how I kind of got into this hobby is just doing things, finding out what works, what doesn't work. Would have killed for a kit like this, though, back in the day. I remember my first solder joint, not my first solder joint, my first XT60 joint. Uh, I got around, the, it took me about seven tries, and every time I cut the wire down shorter and shorter, it took me, no joke, about two hours to get that done. Okay, what we're going to do now, and just as well, I did unplug this because we also forgot our VTX. Uh, let me go here. Callum, I want to know my voltage without a screen or goggles. Is it possible? Yeah, you can put a beeper on there. I'm saying, can you send it to that radio? I don't know. I don't know if the cheap FlySky i6 does that. So it's possible, but I don't know if it's possible with the equipment you have. All right, let's have a look here. Receiver, receiver. That'll be this one. I think. Maybe not. Yeah, it has to be that one. That's the only one that can fit in. All right. That's not working. Let's plug the VTX in while we're waiting anyway. What's the most ergonomical 5-inch frame on bangers? Looking for something like the Source one, but Banggood doesn't have it. Can you just get the Source one? Um... I don't, I don't know why you want to... If you're just going to get something that's cheap anyway, get get the source one, rather. Or is there a shipping issue or something? Because I think TBS does ship internationally. All right. Plugging in my RX. Even though I wish this was direct solder. Okay. Everything is plugged in. It's pretty much plug and play. And now we're going to screw this back into the top right here, making sure we don't cut any wires this one should probably come pre-built because you're not learning anything by putting this together it's like like lego but if you were actually soldering maybe um shipping issues like you said but thanks so travis i'm gonna say make sure if you're buying a frame off bangers um don't get a clone one so Banggood has some great cheap frames, but they also have some dodgy frames they've stolen off some other people. They're all fairly, like the frames on Banggood are pretty cheap. Uh, there's one in the, that screw's not going in, the $99 V2 build. You can have a look at that uh, frame. That's fairly robust and chunky and also pretty cheap as well. Uh, I built the V3, still waiting on my uh, transmitter, but it was a nice frame. Haven't broke a source one frame yet. That's from Chief, and he's saying he has crashed hard. I can't see anything in here because there is zero light on this side. All right. I have five source one frames. 
uh, volume two, three frames, never, never broken an arm though. So tough. Yeah. The source one really is an awesome, awesome little quad. Okay. Uh, Raven saying there's a new TBS frame two, the vertical arm racer. It's quite hard to do the stream and, uh, you know, I know you guys are just staring at my face all the time, but I like to jump on, have a look at some different products. But I guess that's what sold us Saturdays are. I can't believe we have 170 people watching. If you're new to the stream, well, uh, welcome, because we're just going to be fumbling our way through how to put a build together when uh, Stuart's making all the mistakes. So you don't have to. That's why we're doing it here. All right. Let's, let, I'll show you this in the build cam. Look, let's have a look where we're up to. So... Besides needing some better lighting over here and a camera with better detail, what we have, if this is ever going to focus, uh, we have our ESC, which is now on the right way. We've put our flight controller and our camera in the top. We have a cable for our receiver and our little micro VTX out the back, which I should have fed through the middle of the quad. Um, now I'm just going to have to tape it to the outside because I can't be bothered to take this apart for a third time. That's just me me being lazy. But this isn't a professional review. This is me just hanging out on stream, having, having fun with you guys. All right. And, uh, yeah, giveaway thing up the top. Enter that. We will be drawing it. Somebody is going to be winning this abomination that I've kind of put together right here. So now this is going to go on the back here. And these long standoffs and long screws are going to go together and kind of hold it down. This is just so much easier too to build while I'm talking to you guys and I can answer your questions. Uh, Jack Chapman is saying, have you ever tried to make your own frame, not for commercial use, sale, but just for myself? Uh, yeah, I have. I've, I've drawn a few things up actually and tried to just had a look at some crazy ideas just for fun. Um, so that was a, that was a cool exercise. Uh, but yeah, like you say, not for, not for commercial reasons as well. Uh, younger buckets, wait, what were the best sellers for us? So you have, uh, I really like race day quads. I feel like they offer some really cheap prices and everything. You got get FPV. Um, some people like pyro drone, although I've never had anything to do with them. Uh, I think you've got Amazon as well, but. Amazon can be a mixed bag because there's good and bad when you look on there. You really have to know what you want. People saying get FPV all the way. Uh, anyone know where the Tango 2 will be back in stock as well? That's what Travis is asking. Also, too, if you haven't joined our Discord, uh, Discord is kind of like this where we're just hanging out. There's no agenda. It's free to join. Uh, you can simply jump in and have a look as well. The link is in, should be posted by Nightbot that should be held here. Uh, and you for drone, your comment has been held by the silly bot, which has held this, but it says Pyro Drone is the shizzle. Great customer service. So there you go. So that's from, uh, I'll read that out for you, even though my silly bot in here, which we set up about 20 minutes before we started the stream. Um, it's, uh, it's, there you go. There's your comment. Oh, someone's someone's pushed it through for me. Thank you very much. Uh, Donnie's saying get FPV is my go-to, and Leaderbuck is trying out iNav. Now that is something that has takes a lot of learning, and something I think would be pretty cool. However, I don't know the slightest thing about iNav and setting it up and all that sort of stuff. It would scare me a little bit. However, I would love to learn. Uh, Lauren Rose at UAV Futures. Uh, any US websites not uh, or not US uh, with good fly sky selection? That's a brand that is quite tricky nowadays. To uh, you, I think just the only thing you can do is Google the specific product that you want and see who carries it. Uh, fly sky definitely not nearly as popular as Free Sky or TBS, and that's for good reason because they tend to get a lot more fail-safe issues. I even have an email from FlySky recently that says um, something to that accord of like they want to work on some new things. What can they do? Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, you're kind of out of luck if you're using FlySky. Anyone a huge range. They're just definitely not as popular. All right. Hi, Stu. This one's from Roscoe Sticks. Uh, whatever happened to the original UV test 
UAV Futures Test Track. I loved watching you and Tom BMS Thomas screaming around. Uh, the original one didn't disappear. It's still there. However, they planted a metric ton of trees uh, all along the rivers, all along the banks and the paths, pretty much where we used to fly. So it is it is totally unflyable if you want to replicate that track that we used to fly. It was a really, really cool track. However, it's just not possible anymore. I feel like this is kind of coming together, even though we're going to be using a bit of duct tape and I'm going to be duct taping my receiver on the side just like this. And uh, no, not our VTX, and I'll duct tape the receiver on the other side. So this is going to be a well-loved quad. Time to do the motors. Now, this is the tricky part. It doesn't tell, does it tell us which is clockwise, which is counterclockwise? I'm going to say no. So, actually, it wouldn't even matter because it should be the ESC that is programmed the correct way because it's a four in one and they know exactly where it's going. All right. Uh, how about a crossfire mod for Fly Sky that Drone Mesh did? Uh, maybe you can Google that if you want. Um, the motor's keyed. I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, SC is saying, at UAV Futures, have you ever visited the US or flown in the US? If so, what did you think? Thanks, take care. From Washington State on the West Coast, uh, north of California. So I feel like a lot of people from Washington actually talk about this stream or have been in here. I don't know what the time is, but for you guys, it seems to be a lot of people tuning in. Um, and this motor is not going in there very easily at all. I have been to the US, but well before I was into, I went there once, uh, and it was it was a cool place, but also a very interesting place. It wasn't very nice at customs. It was kind of scary going through there, uh, and I got my worst ever migraine. I've never had a migraine before, and then I got one on the plane right over there by myself for like stuck on that plane for 12 hours with my head about to explode and zero Panadol or zero Paracetamol. I didn't know what was going on. Um, but I didn't do any FPV or anything like that. This is back when I was still at uni, and uh, or maybe I just finished uni. I can't remember entirely, but it was it was okay. All right, right now I am putting the motors on. Uh, things are hanging out everywhere. It looks like a dog's breakfast. We should have everything neatly tucked inside, but who wants to do that? We have. I'm buying an RC car now because they won't fly away with Fly Sky fail safes. So yeah, that's a problem. When and make sure you've got your your you can set fail safes on Fly Sky. I know I always did. And the best way to check is when you power up your radio, uh, plug your quad in, make sure there's no props on your quad, and then um, fire it up, and then turn your radio off. Now what we're trying to do is trying to find this last motor. I'm sure they gave us four motors. It's right in front of me, boys. Um, just reading some other things. It's 6.30 over there. Hey, Johnny DRC. Thanks for tuning in all the time, brother. He's been a loyal viewer for a long time, many years. So a big shout out to him too. Send me a few emails. Seems like a cool dude with some cool RC experience as well. So big shout out to you, man. That's Johnny DRC. Ben is uh, talking to License to Drive in the chat. And I oh mean, we've got 187 people, 188 people watching me fumble through this build on a solder Saturday. I'm prepared. When we first fired this up, too, the streaming software just didn't want to work. So that's why we're a little bit late. We are going to be doing a giveaway as well. So uh, there's a giveaway form in the top. And the prize is kind of jackpotting. So at the moment, it's a SIM key, it's a Cine can, and you are going to be getting this monstrosity as well, which is the Tyro 89. Uh, but it will be in the state that it is after I have flown it. So we're going to do a review on this. And um, yeah, if it burns up, well, then you, it, it's come and burn. If it flies perfectly, you get it coming perfectly. It's just uh, a luck of the draw on how it's going to go. Let's put these. Let's have a look here. You can, you can see a little bit there. It's all coming together a little bit. I'm going to screw these motors down. There's a whole heap of standoffs and screws that seem totally unused. And hopefully these are long enough to go through the carbon. And that's something I don't understand. Oh, they're just, just long enough. Leave it to Eshin to give you the bare minimum to get the job done. 
All right. 7.40. 7.34 in Colorado. Uh, what, what's happening here? People are... Yeah, we are building the Tyro 89. And I was going to be doing it in the build cam, but I feel like I can answer questions and have a more entertaining and more fun stream with you guys. I should just have this in my lap, actually, so you guys might be able to see a little bit more. All right. So now you can actually see what I'm working on as well. And Charlie's down here snoring. He's completely zonked. Oh no, he just opened his eyes. Probably heard me say his name. All right, there's the giveaway form. Thank you very much, Malice Vex, for posting that. I'm pretty sure uh, there something weird happened this morning. Malice Vex woke up early, and he sent me a message at 7:40, saying, "Yo." And because uh, he never wakes up at that time, I've in the whole years I've known him, he's very rarely awake in the a.m. hours when he hasn't just stayed up all night. And I happen to have been up early because I was looking after my daughter, so it was a little little bit bizarre. I gave him a ring, and then I could just picture our wives coming out and being like, "Man, don't you talk to those that dude enough on Discord all day?" Uh, someone's name who has letters in it that I can't pronounce because it looks like another language. Dude, what are the best goggles for beginners? I've only got 300 US dollars. So 300 US dollars for, that's what you want to spend in total or you want to, is that your budget option? That's how much you want to spend just on the goggles. So please let me know that. I wish I knew your name, but all I can see is a, a B and a B at the start of your letter, start of your name and a K at the end. So BK, let me know what's happening there, brother. Um, is Nightbot still here, Epilogy? Uh, I don't know. Is that how also how I pronounce your name? I could be mispronouncing it. Thank you for tuning into the stream all the time, though, because I have noticed you've been in here for quite a lot of them. Um, and Derek Etcher is saying, pretty stoked, kind of did a, did a split S today. So congratulations. Have you been practicing on the sim? If not, today's stream, too, if you're a new viewer, is a little bit different. Um, because usually we're going through, we're answering your questions and I'm showing you things, we're Googling things, we're watching people's videos, all that sort of stuff today. We are just mucking around, having some fun. I'm building this. This is a solder Saturday. So uh, if it's Saturday where you are, every Saturday, or if it's Sunday where you are, then of course it's going to be Sunday. But every time this week, we're going to get together and I'm going to try and build something uh, and get it, get it going a little bit better. However, Today, it's a trial run. It's the pilot run, if that was a good pun, because we're still learning, getting some things sorted. Uh, every time I do my stream, I want to improve at least one thing about it. So as soon as I get off this, some things I already know, I want to fix up the nightbot that is annoying people in the chat. Uh, it's doing a good job at some things, but it needs to be toned down so people can say whatever they want to say and it doesn't give people warnings, all that sort of stuff. Um, and also, uh, I need to fix this camera up and have some better lighting over here because it's just, if this is in here, it's really too hard to see whatever I'm building about. I feel like it's just better if I'm holding it up, talking to you guys and that sort of stuff as well. And the good thing is, uh, because it's, I don't have a boss telling me what to do, it doesn't matter. It's just for you guys talking, having fun. Uh, and I'm sure you guys aren't going to get too upset either, as long as we're enjoying some FPV content. Anyway, um, let's have a look here. Did BK end up writing back? Because I might have missed it. Nightbok is uh, timing some people out, which is annoying me. Ben sending me... Uh, oh, no, Ben is posting a link to some Hawkeye goggles. But I don't know... Um, ben, did he have... Did BK have $300 in total to spend or $300 to spend on some goggles? Because if you've got $300 to spend on goggles, I would go Sky Zones. Otherwise, uh, that link that Ben posted, Ben Sweetnam in the, in the chat is to a website, uh, which is probably the world's best website. If you haven't checked this out, go to uh, uavfutures.com, and there's a bunch of stuff here. Now nearly 200 uh, since you're watching the numbers. I am looking at a couple. We've got 199 uh, people here. What I want you to do is either hit the thumbs up button if you think the stream is uh, enjoyable and you're enjoying it, or hit the thumbs down button if you would prefer it to be nothing but professionalism, well lit with structural, uh, structured content that is just intellectual. So let me know, hit either one. So are you happy with a mishmash stream where we're having some fun or do you just want the bare facts with no fun, stop point information building a quad? Let me know what you want. 
And let's see, putting this together. What I was supposed to do was put this receiver on uh, the correct way inside. However, I didn't do that because I was feeling lazy. So we're just going to be taping that to the outside and also uh, our VTX. What we're looking at, though, this is the Tyro 89. Uh, I was sent this a while ago for review, and I wasn't terribly excited about it. Um, but now it's here. It was chosen for uh, solder Saturdays because it all came in a kit. But the bad point was uh, it had two solder joints. I didn't realize that. I thought it would have a lot more. I thought I'd be soldering at least the motors on or something like that. Nope. Solder on an XT. I don't even know why. Okay. Let's get ready for a ramble. If I go here to face cam, we're going to build a quad. Our name is Eshin. We're going to put together a little uh, a little kit for people. They want to get into drones. All right, what can they do? Okay, we're going to need to do a bit of soldering. All right, okay, we'll throw all this stuff in. Why on earth didn't they just solder the one lead onto the flight controller? It is so much more attractive to people if you said, hey, buy this quad, no soldering needed. So many newcomers would be like, oh, good, soldering was the one thing that was holding me back. Why would you make you sold one solder joint? Two, I should say. That's ridiculous. Gunner351 is saying, we made more chaos on the stream, not structure. I 100% agree with you. It looks like we had one person uh, hit the thumbs down. They want more structure and about 50 more people hit the thumbs up for more chaos. So, okay, if you agree with Gunner, uh, thumbs up for more chaos, thumbs down for more structure. Let me know. Let's put, I don't even want to put the props on here because I feel like that's that's kind of it, right? Like, what have, what have we done here besides having to strap down our vtx which okay i'm going to ask you guys uh, and people you like the new back backdrop dwight thank you i uh spent some of the uh, live stream donations which you can see down here this little bar here that's what we're working towards this is for the studio upgrades we've also got this second camera what do you think about this one uh dwight this is we've got right here so we can do a bit of live builds we're working on them i kind of preemptively spent some of the money but um that's what this is for. That's what the donation's for. So if you want to donate, thank you very much. We are working on some better, I want to get better lighting, better sound equipment, uh, a better camera right here, just all in all so we can do some builds and work on this sort of stuff. So anyway, uh, when is the giveaway? That's going to be soon. So we're going to be drawing this. Uh, make sure your entries are in the, there is a form in the description. Go down. You should be able to click on that. If you enter once, you're in the giveaway forever. You don't have to click on it every single live stream. And the beauty is when you're in there, I say, right, this person's the winner. We'll draw it live on stream so you guys can see exactly who the winner is. That person will have half an hour to email me and say, hey, Stu, I was watching the stream. Here's um, here's my here's my email. Congratulations, you've won. And guess what? You will have won everything that hasn't been claimed so far. So right now we have a SIM key a trash can uh, with a Tarsair 4K recorder thing in it, and you are going to be winning this as well. This is going into the prize pool. However, if you happen to win today, uh, you need to wait until I've flown this. And plus, you're going to have to pay postage, or you can just forfeit it and roll the prize into the next winner and someone else until someone wants, wins and wants to pay postage. But this one, if you happen to win and you want to claim the prize, uh, you need to wait till I go out and fly this thing around because I do need to probably make a video about it. If a company sends me a product, I don't just want to give it away for... Uh, I guess I need to give them something back. So I do need to do a review on this. It'd be pretty slack of me if I just said, yeah, oh, thanks for that. But they don't get anything in return. What is that? Uh, what is that mail? So I don't know what mail you mean there, uh, Pedro. So not too sure what you mean right there, brother. Uh, what is the email? What email, we, what email should we email if we win? If you win, we're going to see it on stream. It's whatever you entered the form with. So... I don't want, you can't just randomly email me and say, hey, I won the prize. It's got to be from the email that's listed on the winner that we will show live on the stream as well. Uh, you can't see it in the form. Let's have a look here. Uh, Callum, you got to email me if you want to talk to me privately. Uh, that's usually how I do all my business discussions, all that sort of stuff, or helping people. Definitely uh, just send me an email. But... Can you guys see the form? Let me know in the chat. Can you see the form? Yes or no as well. Let me know how that's going. Look at my hair. It's going crazy. I don't know what's going on. This was, this was not a good month. January, February was not a good month to skip a haircut. Now it's uh, a little bit little bit out of control. Um, wow, where is my email? My email is uavfutures at gmail.com. So, and it's also in the about page. On, you, are people saying, yeah, no, they can't see the form? 
wait, did the giveaway finish? No. Okay, let's see if you guys can see this. If I drag this over to here and see this form. Look, I'm watching this, I'm watching the stream as well. If I go to screen share, this is the stream. Uh, I've pushed pause. I don't know, or have I ended the stream? Hopefully not. But let me know this form right here, giveaway form, blah, blah, blah. This docs, make sure you enter that. All right, now I'm putting this back here. Uh oh, I feel like I've lost, uh, I've lost the stream. I don't know what I've done. All right, so hopefully that was there. Okay, so people can see it. Russ can see it. Join the Discord server. The, thank you, Nightbot, posting that link there if you want to talk about FPV, all that sort of stuff. We are going to jump back to my face cam. And uh, S, uh, I, BK, I never got around to answering your question. Sorry, brother. Um, let's have a look. We're going to draw that giveaway winner soon. I uh, got that 80s hair due to the max. My hair is too thin to do that hairstyle anymore. What, what about I should just use it use it like a headband, right? Let's just push the hair back. Just get this little tuft at the front. <laughs> That's like uh, what was it? The alfalfa from uh, the Little Rascals. Anyway, I'm getting way too distracted. You guys are distracting me. A bad influence turning FPV. I unplugged my soldering iron. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Soldering Saturdays, where we were going to be putting together something, and we did end up getting there. Big shout out to Ben and Raven and the mods who, even from the stream, from the other side of the camera, they could say, hey, you're doing this around the wrong way. We will be working on upgrading the studio, and I want to have it so you guys can see a little bit better. That's the that's the whole point. But at the moment, I need some new lighting over here, all that sort of stuff. So if you want to donate to that, there should be a link in the description as well. And Nightbot should be posting some stuff. I think it's like Streamlabs at UAV Futures. Thanks to everybody who did uh, Super Chats and I answered some questions. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And every Saturday we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have a special guest Sunday. So that's what I'm working on. So make sure you're staying tuned for special guest Sunday where we can have some really cool stuff. Uh, we've got Archmage in the channel. What's going on, brother? Uh, and Alex Graham. How about another serious build? I built your Flywoo Vampire and it rocks. Yeah, that one is a hardcore racer. However, let's jump over here. Let's change this. The build has finished. Even though I really didn't do too much soldering, we're going to jump in answer a few questions for some people and then we're going to have a look at the giveaway as well so let me get this resorted um and if i go to my face cam charlie's down there having a bit of a snooze oh, okay i've woken him up and let's have a look here so so this, this feels better now relax i don't have those i can talk i can talk properly now okay Simon Norton, hey your Futures, does the stream start at 11 now or what? Uh, how about some YouTube post telling us what time uh, this thing starts? All right, so every single day, and I'm going to say my Australian time, and then you can translate that. So the stream started 100 minutes ago from now, but it will be starting that time every single day. So last week, yes, it was starting at my midday, but my midday is too late for me to do some other work in the afternoon. So by the time the stream finished, then I have some lunch. Then I, by the time I did work and then had to get stuff ready for dinner, it was too late. So when I start at 10 a.m., it means I can have lunch, do some more UAV Futures work, and then still get some stuff ready for dinner and help my family. So uh, I believe it is like starting between 5 and 8 in the U.S., uh, depending on what time zone. But for me, where I'm at, it is going to be 8 o'clock Every, uh, sorry, 10 o'clock every single Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I am in like Melbourne time, so Sydney time as well. So I don't know if that if that helps. Uh, Eric Spen donated two dollars, so thank you so much, brother. That will be going towards upgrading this studio, fixing some stuff, getting that light equipment working, all that sort of stuff. Maybe fixing up the camera and finding out what we can do. I need to do to also track down some maybe more high quality web webcams because. Webcams are on a bit of a shortage at the moment. If you try and Google them, have a look at the prices of webcams. It's ridiculous. Uh, and Kaylee is saying, thank you so much for all you do uh, for your videos. As someone is new to the hobby, uh, they're extremely helpful. That's what it's all about, brother. Just getting you, uh, or sister, getting you into the hobby, experiencing FPV, changing your life. You don't have to 
stick around on my channel forever. You might go off and become one of the best racers in the world. You might be like, you wave a futures channel. It's all for beginners. He mocks around too much. He is having too much fun. Whatever I'm doing here, as long as I got you in the door to FPV, you got to experience it and have some fun. And my videos helped along your FPV journey in some way, shape or form that then I feel like my mission is successful. And Bradley saying, family comes first. Hope you girls are doing well. Being a dad is the best. It absolutely is, although it sometimes can be a little bit tiring and you just roll your eyes like, like okay, kid. All right, what's the deal? All right, use a GoPro as a webcam. That's from uh, N X X X N R E Cop. So, yeah, but then you need to buy like an Elgato or something like that, like a stream capture thing. So I don't think there's any other way that, I can get the direct feed straight out as well using using that. I have had a look at it. And all right, you guys probably want to do some giveaway forms, right? So it is in the description. Let's have a look now. Thanks for those viewers who have been tuning in. I am going to have a look and find this form. Then we'll draw the winner. All right. Uh, here we go. So... Let me have a look here. The form is loading up. Okay, we have, and you should have only been able to enter once because that's the way I set it up. We have 294 entries. So let's roll this out and see what happens. And if you, I'm going to say too, uh, if you're a mod or part of the UAV Futures crew, so you have that role on Discord, which is tagged as yellow, you can't win. You guys know who you are. <laughs> you're not going to win the prize. Sorry. This is just for you regular viewers out there. So between two and what did I say? Was it 294, 296? Now we're up to 296. Okay, let's do this random number generator. Random number between. From, I want one unique number from two. And I'm gonna check, is there any more? 297, okay, Simon. Simon Norton, you just got in there, uh, <laughs> and 297. All right, here we go. We're going to share my screen, and I'm going to close the live entries because I don't want to... You guys can see that, or I need to scroll that across a little bit. I wonder... Looks like the screen cap is kind of cutting it out a little bit. Hang on, I'll make it... A bit smaller. Let me close this down, close this down. We'll minimize this just a little bit. No, here. Here we go. All right, so now you guys can see exactly what we're doing. Uh, Doug broke it, FPV. Thank you so much for your donation through Super Chat, brother. You didn't even put a question with it. You're just being a kind person. We're about to draw a winner for our uh, bit of a giveaway we're doing here, but thank you so much for your donation. It really does help in these times when I can't even get outside to fly. So thank you so much for helping me share this message. Continue this channel and get more people flying. It's a huge passion of mine. It changed my life. That's what UAV Futures is all about. So thank you for helping me share that with others. So, all right. Let's do it between two and 297 because I think entries one was one of the test test ones we put in there. Let's get a random result and find out what number that we're going to get. All right, so entry number 159. Remember that number. Bear with me. I'm going to jump over to the form and see if I can. I'm going to show you that to you guys, but I don't want to blast everybody's emails through the stream. There's some privacy here. What number was it? I think I said... 100 and, oh man, random number, 100, it's 159, 159, Woo I almost said another one, 159, let's uh, keep that there, and the form is populating, so we will minimize this one so you guys can see as well. And what's going on here? No, it's been a pain. All right. So this one here. And then if I get the other window, I can block out everybody else's. Here we go. We've got this sorted. So you can see entry 
here's our here's our form we've got right here, 159. And drum roll, please, screen share. We have our winner, which was 159, and it is Mike Sleeper. So Mike, you've got 30 minutes. I'm going to give you 36 minutes actually. So till if you email me before 12:30, brother, you are going to win uh, what we built today. Um, this bad boy right here and what was the other thing a sim key but if you don't well bad luck for you but good luck for everybody else because we're just going to roll it into uh tomorrow's stream so anyway you've got a little bit of time to email me so thank you very much for everybody who entered it's just about having some fun uh giving some stuff back to you you are going to have to pay postage though but you feel free if you don't want to pay postage for those two drones and a sim key well uh then I'm sure somebody else will eventually who will win a prize and it will just keep jackpotting. All righty. So let's have a look here. Uh, people saying, Mr. Sleeper, congrats. Uh, make sure Stu autographs it. Okay. Uh, Epilogy. I can't remember who won yesterday, but I didn't have any emails in that time. I know it was some, I think it was some kid from possibly Japan, maybe or something, but I don't know. Uh, a SIM key is something you can use to. Um, what do you call it? A uh, SIM key is something you can use to get a SIM happening as well. Uh, can you tell us a funny drone story? That's from uh, R-Line Wedroff. Funny drone story. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll tell you a recent one that happened. So I had some friends down for the UPE event and we were all going to get flying and they'd never tried DJI Digital before, right? So we went out to what I like to call the field of dreams. We're all about to go flying around and I load up. Everyone has a bit of a go. I'm recording some of their reactions. It was just a private video. It wasn't to make a, a video to publish or anything. I just recorded it so I could show them back. You know, they, they're into FPV, what it was like on their first time. Here we recorded your first flight experience. We gave it to Jay. And of course, what does Jay do? He takes it up the first tree that he kind of buzzes around within like 30 seconds. He gets it stuck in the top of the tallest tree in the most difficult place to get it down. And the poor bloke felt so guilty. We were really hanging it on him and like, hey, you know, what have you done? We ended up walking back. Jay and I walked back. Everyone else kept flying. Jay and I walked back to my place. We, uh, we got our stuff. We walked back or ran back out there to get it out. And what we decided, the tree was really, really big, right? So what we did, we tied a drone around one of my five inches and we've had a whole bunch of people. We'd untangled all the rope. We'd, uh, the rope was going to go up over the tree, over the other side, and then uh, we were going to get people on each end and move the branches back and forth. What happened? The drone was going up, up, and I, I should probably put publish this video, but I do do a bit of swearing because I just couldn't believe what happened. The, the boys watched the drone up. It was going perfectly. My goggles died like they went flat. So the screen went black. Don't worry. Pro pilot here was still managed to think about where the drone was going to be and guide the drone perfectly over so the people could grab it on the other side. That's all fine. But of course, what did the boys do who were meant to be holding the rope? They just watched the rope go up in the sky. They watched the end they were meant to be holding just disappear and go over it. I was like, boys, what are you what are you doing? I was like, oh, my goggles went flat. But oh, at least they got that on that side to turn around and they're like, oh, we meant to hold that side of the rope. I was like, are you, are you, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Are you just, what, what, that was our whole mission to do that. What, what are we doing? So, yeah. So, um, I don't know. It's hard to good, get good help nowadays, especially when they're from Dubbo, but who knows what's happening. Um, okay. Uh, let's see what's going on here in the stream before we end. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for those people who uh, had a super chat, just even just a question or donated to that, uh, stream, that stream labs link, which is in the description to help me, um, with this. I need to make sure I get that email from, uh, Mike sleeper. So Mike sleeper, can you hit me up? Thanks brother. Duck my squee. Uh, let's see what he's saying. Just a bit of, uh, just a bit extra above the Patreon monthly. Thanks for me getting into FPV, man. Uh, Duck my squee, my pleasure, brother. Thank you so much for uh, also your help as well. So for those people who don't know, Duck's helped me quite a lot on the channel. He did some amazing music for me, uh, which we put out like a little bit of a rap video. All this, uh, Duck is just a genuine, nice guy who everybody should go check out his channel as well. So that should be uh, somewhere if he posts a link somewhere in here he will also be a frequent member on discord if you don't know about discord um 
go check this out. Uh, and Malice Vex looks like he's even posted something in here. I really should have spoken about it on my Discord, should have spoken about the stream. But what we've got here, we've got some people talking all things FPV. Jump in, have a bit of a chat about all things FPV, all that sort of stuff. Other than that, subscribe for more uh, FPV related content. Uh, do you do giveaways every day? Yeah, actually, that's from Evans in Inventions. We have started to do that, so we've been kind of stockpiling a prize. I've give there's two drones in there and a sim key over the last three days. However, uh, maybe tomorrow won't be a drone. I'll have to find something else. I don't just want to ship somebody a whole ton of drones. I would prefer a bit of a kit and some fun things in there as well. So anyway. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Subscribe for more FPV related content. Sorry, the uh, solder Saturdays didn't go quite as well as we wanted. Stay tuned tomorrow because it is, make sure you check into this stream. It is going to be 20 hours from now. The stream will be going live again, uh, 22 hours from now. The stream will be going live again. So set a reminder, think, right, it's this time. I'm going to tune into Stuart's stream because it is special guest Sunday where we've got some really cool stuff as well. I can't believe we've still got some super, super chats coming in here. So thanks very much for uh, Henry Cop. I know I couldn't pronounce your name, X-X-X-E-N-R-I Cop. So uh, thank you so much for that donation. Super fun build. Sorry we didn't uh, really get through as much as we wanted um, because, well, look, I just, I don't know. It was all, it's all chaos, but you guys seem to enjoy it as well. So anyway, uh, that's enough. I'm going to stop rambling. I've got some stuff to get work. I'm going to try and do some more work on this year. I really want to fix up that ready for next time as well. Uh, what's the Discord channel? Uh, what Discord channel? It seems quiet. So if you just jump into general, there's a whole bunch. You can even see people in voice chat, all that sort of stuff there. On that, subscribe for more FPV related content. And as always, uh, happy flying. Someone, let's see, I wouldn't do a live stream at the same time on Monday. Uh, you'd get very few views because that's the time of Bardwell stream. Well, uh, I guess that's something that those, those viewers who want to watch me uh, can go and do that. That's fine. If you want to watch Bardwell stream, no hard feelings at all. I'm just going to be the same time every single day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if you're in the US, because that's what time works for me and my family getting out here and making some content. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, subscribe for more FPV Reload content. This is about the fourth time I've tried to end the stream, but you guys are distracting me too much in here in the chat. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you guys tomorrow. All right, let's find out where this end stream button is. I don't know if it actually works from this one because it wasn't working this morning and I thought I just saw a cobweb, but then I got paranoid that that was a bit of smoke. So anyway, I'm pushing end stream as always.